That's point number two, guys. There are six. <laughs> we're, not, we're not even there yet. You already know you, you're entering maybe, maybe a casket, but okay. Yeah, it's 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 crazy. It's wild. It's wild. <laughs> we're gonna talk about the waiver right now. Yes, RJ. yes. RJ, you're you're the you're the lawyer of a two of us too. So you yes. know a little thing about waivers. Yeah, I know a thing or two about waivers. Uh, the I'm yeah. So when waivers are meant to basically protect a person or a company from liability, right? So usually you put you give the way you let a person sign a waiver when you don't, especially when you are providing a service that might be dangerous uh, or might be risky or has a high risk of either, either let's say the consequences might be grave or, or just sometimes to be safe. But you let your clients or your customers sign a waiver so that they, it will limit their, their, limit their chances of suing you successfully in the future. Mm. Of course, the people in this particular case uh, signed a waiver that's uh, according to new in news. We have a uh, an example. I, I think that we have an example of the waiver. Uh, Kia, where did we find this this waiver? We found it on Daily Mail. Let me share my screen with you guys. Yeah. So according Post to Daily, Daily yeah, let's continue. Sorry. Yeah, so according to Ocean, uh, to Daily Mail, uh, Daily, Daily, they, Daily Mail Online, yes. Daily Mail Online, yeah, they had a an article regarding the waiver. An uh, article states that, um, or at least they had one, perhaps two articles, but basically the articles are about whether or not uh, OceanGate can be held liable for the damages uh, cost or damages that occurred during the last trip. The article also states that the passengers, the customers had to sign a waiver and they signed a waiver. Now we have a copy of the waiver here provided to us by uh, Daily, Mail. Daily Mail. Maybe you can zoom in a bit. a bit. Let me zoom in a little bit. So you can guys can, can read the crazy stuff. <laughs> Yeah, so let's see. Can the family, friends, and or uh, other people, other stakeholders successfully sue Ocean Gate? Let's see what the waiver says. I acknowledge that I have voluntarily applied to participate in a submer submersible operation arranged by Ocean Gate. The operative word here is voluntarily. That means it was it wasn't obligatory. Wait a second, wait a second. Do you also see where they are registered? In the Bahamas. <laughs> <laughs> Who else was in the Bahamas? Who else was, was at the a, Was it A, a reputable company <laughs> named Microsoft? <laughs> B, a legendary company called Apple or C a company that also imploded and was doing crypto <laughs> named FTX which one was it guys <laughs> the time is ticking I, I don't have time ticking. tick tock tick tock tick tock okay. which one is it uh, guys is it A <laughs> so B, in the or C is it A B or C, let us know why the third one is correct. So the... <laughs> the okay, let me share, let me go back. Go back. So the operative word, word in the first line is voluntarily. Uh, it goes on to say, uh, I've been informed about the nature of the operation and the risks. Including, one, the operation includes activities involving... Subsurf subsurface uh, vessels, subsurface ve um, surface vessels, and or remotely operated vehicles that are on near or under the water. Up to that point, 
nothing noteworthy. Mm. A portion of the operation will be conducted inside an, and here comes another operative word, experimental submersible vessel. The, here's the word again, experimental submersible vessel has not been approved or certified by any regulatory body and may be constructed of materials that have not been widely used in human occupied submersibles. Red flag number one. Guys, guys, I think we need to read that one one more time. Now we can keep it as it is. You want to keep it like this? Yeah, let's keep it like this. Okay. Let's read it one more time, guys. I'm going to read it. The, the waiver that the passenger signed makes the participants acknowledge that they are aware of the risks and accept the risks, including the fact that, and I quote, a portion of the operation will be conducted inside an experimental submersible vessel, operative word being experimental. The experimental submersible vessel has, and here it comes again, guys, not been approved or certified by any regulatory body and may be constructed. So that, that to itself should be alarming. <laughs> At that point, you should ask yourself. You should stop right there. You should stop. What do you mean by that? You should have stopped there. Submersible vessel, approximately 12,000 feet below ocean level. If it's an experimental they use the word experimental. They use. They say that it hasn't been approved or certified by any regulatory body. You should have stopped right there. <laughs> but we're not done with the sentence yet. The sentence go on and says, and I quote, and may be constructed of materials that have not been widely used in human occupied submersibles. And of quote what bro what are you talking about man that means the participant and that's point number two guys there are six <laughs> we're, not, we're not even there yet you already know you, you're entering maybe, maybe a casket but okay yeah it's 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 crazy it's wild but... it's wild and we can proceed Three, when diving below the ocean surface, this vessel will be subject to extreme pressure and any failure of the vessel while I am aboard could cause severe injury or deletion. I understand that I may decline to participate in any dive below the ocean surface or any activity of the operation at any time. In other words, I understand that I am voluntarily accepting or I'm, uh, the, the risks I am voluntarily making the choice to participate in the trip. Number four, support vessels upon which I may board are industrial vessels not specifically designed for passenger operation and present <laughs> many hazards, including, without limitation, large heavy objects, heavy swinging doors, and low overhangs. These could become even more hazardous in heavy seas. In addition, during the operation, I may board small vessels and other equipment that could expose me to property damage, injury, and disability or deletion. So it's saying that the vessels are not, or some, it indicates that some of the vessels, if not all vessels, here it's talking about more the surface vessels, so probably the boat that's taking them to a certain place, mm -hmm. are not specifically designed for people, right? It's just 
they are using it, but it's not designed for passenger operations to use the words they use. Number five says, if I choose to assist in the servicing or operation of the submersible vessel, I will be exposed to the risks associated with high pressure gases, gases, pure oxygen servicing, high voltage electrical systems, and other dangers that could lead to property damage, injury, disability, and deletion. Number six, the operation will take place largely at a great distance from the nearest hospital or rescue personnel. If I am injured during the operation, I may not receive immediate medical attention. First aid available on the ship may not be equivalent to what is available on land. I acknowledge that all travel in or around the water on vessels of any type, including the submersibles, entails both known and unanticipated risks that could result in physical injury, disability, emotional trauma, deletion, harm of myself of, or third parties or damage to my property. Although Ocean Gate Expeditions, LTD, will take steps to probably prevent... Now we're not going to read everything, guys. Yeah. To provide me with adequate training, equipment, et cetera, et cetera, uh, yada, 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 I acknowledge and keep acknowledging that I am responsible for my own choice. 